Have you been carrying a heavy load for quite some time now? It's too heavy, but there's no other way. And it seems no one is willing to help you carry anyway. Have you been fighting a battle all your life, yet always end up at the losing side? You did all you could, yet it seems everything you did is no good. And you feel frustrated, battered, and shattered. You might also feel useless, worthless, and hopeless. It's too much to bear, and you're thinking of giving up and giving in. But before you do so, let me remind you, this is where the problem lies. Because we've been carrying the burdens, facing the struggles, and fighting the battles ourselves. But the question is, what are those battles, struggles, and burdens we're facing? Ephesians 6.12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, we are no match for these evil forces. But with Christ, we can. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In fact, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15 says, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army, for the battle does not belong to you, but to God. Yes, it's God's. But before God can fight the battle for us, we need to surrender first. In human perspective, to surrender means defeat. But in the spiritual realm, Surrender to Jesus means victory. As a matter of fact, it's the only way to victory. If we will only surrender ourselves utterly to the Lord and will trust Him perfectly, we shall find our souls mounting up with wings as eagles to the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, whose earthly annoyances and sorrows have no power to disturb us. So, if you feel worthless and defeated, listen to this. A basketball in my hands is worth about $19. A basketball in Michael Jordan's hands is worth about $33 million. It depends on whose hands it's in. A golf club in my hands is worth $50. But a golf club in Tiger Woods' hands is worth Eighty million dollars. It depends whose hands it's in. A tennis racket is useless in my hands, but a tennis racket in Roger Federer's hands will win a Wimbledon championship. It depends on whose hands it's in. A stick in my hands will keep me away from a wild animal, but a stick in Moses' hands will part the mighty Red Sea. It depends on whose hands it's in. A slingshot in my hands is a kid's toy, but a slingshot in David's hands will slay a giant. It depends on whose hands it's in. Two fish and five loaves of bread in my hands will feed my family. But two fish and five loaves of bread in God's hands will feed thousands. It depends on whose hands they're in. Nails in my hands might produce a birdhouse, but the same nails in Christ Jesus' hands will produce salvation and eternal life. It depends on whose hands they're in. So, put your worries, your cares, your fears, your hopes, your hurts, your insecurities, your dreams, and your battles in God's hands. And He will see you through. Because you see, it depends on whose hands they're in. This is Delfred. And this is Zion Amber. 
reminding you to take the Bible as your weapon of choice and keep the faith. And if God is with us, who can be against us? This, this is Take a Talk. talk.